with Passover and Easter coming up this week. Normally, we'd be preparing to spend time with our families, but not this year. And it may be causing you to feel lonely, maybe anxious and stressed. So we knew who to call. We called Rabbi Steve Leader for some help. He's the senior rabbi at Wilshire Boulevard Temple in L.A. and the author of a really appropriate book, More Beautiful Than Before, How Suffering Transforms Us. Good morning, Rabbi. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Hoda. Oh, Miss you both. You know, you're like the perfect person, Jenna and I were saying, especially this week. This is going to be a rough week in New York and around the country, Rabbi. We've been hearing from experts. They say, like, brace for Pearl Harbor, for 9-11, like that kind of feeling. And a lot of people, yeah. you know, are feeling anxious, obviously, and feeling scared. During yeah. this critical week that also coincides with Holy Week, mm -hmm. how do you give solace to, to people who are watching today? Well... Um, without denying the seriousness of what we're all dealing with, and let's first of all understand and try to put it in some context. Uh, we're all dealing with loss, you know, the loss of our freedom, the loss of a job, the um, loss of health, possibly, uh, definitely the loss of our innocence um, in this realization of how fragile and interconnected uh, the entire world is. Um, we know how to deal with loss. This pandemic might seem somehow unprecedented, but loss is not unprecedented in our lives. We've all dealt with loss before, and we've gone through the stages of loss, the denial, the anger, the sadness, and ultimately the acceptance. Uh, and this will be no different. We all, because we are human, we've suffered losses before. We know, we know that we have the ability to survive loss, to heal from loss, and to grow uh, in, in the uh, aftermath of that loss. And this will be no different. In many ways, we have been here before, and that's very important to remember. Rabbi Leader, you say that if you feel like you are suffering, you should do three things. You should ask yourself three questions. Right. And the first one is, what is the most difficult thing mm -hmm. I've ever been through? Exactly, Jenna. Again, this is putting this whole thing in some kind of context that's more familiar to us. Mm -hmm. Again, because we are human, we have all suffered. Ask yourself, when I ask people in my study, when they come to me uh, brokenhearted, I ask them, what is the most difficult thing prior to this that you've ever been through in your life? And they always know. We all know the most difficult things we've gotten through. And then I simply ask them to ask themselves, how did I get through it? Mm -hmm. What were the internal resources I used? Who did I reach out to for help? Uh, what were the spiritual practices? that I engaged in to help me. And remind yourself, you still have all of that. You still have those resources. You still have those people in your life. You still have those spiritual practices in your life. It's very important to remember this is not the first difficult thing we've ever faced. And we have survived, we have healed, we have grown in the aftermath of these difficult things in the past, and this will be no different. The second question, Rabbi Leader, that you ask is, is this a problem or is this an uh, inconvenience? Mm. So important. Perspective is so important. Look, you're, you're a single mom. You've lost your job. You're at home with the kids. They're driving you crazy. Uh, you're at your wits end. Let me tell you something. As hard as that is, that's an inconvenience. If your child wakes up with a fever and is coughing and can't breathe, that's a problem. You know, you're, you're tired of ground turkey for the fourth day in a row and leftovers and not being able to go out to your favorite restaurant. That's an inconvenience. If you're a homeless person searching through a dumpster for a bite to eat, that's mm -hmm. a problem. You missed your hair appointment, your Botox, your nails, uh, you know, your elective surgery, whatever it is. That's an inconvenience. Your mother's on a respirator in the ICU mm -hmm. fighting mm -hmm. for her life. That's a problem. You know, let's get a grip. Let's understand the difference between a problem and an inconvenience. That's the way to go through this crisis. Mm -hmm. Finally, really quickly, the last question you ask yourself is, what can I do for the next hour that is both meaningful and or productive? Yes, as much as possible, stop catastrophizing the future. Stop imagining these nightmarish scenarios mm -hmm. that are going to happen to your life and to the world and focus on a much more important question. What can I be doing in the next hour that's yeah. actually meaningful, helpful, productive and loving for myself or someone else? If you can do that just 10 percent more and catastrophize 10 percent less, it's going to change the entire experience of going Rab through this. Rabbi Leader. 
We love you. Thank you we for being you. with us. I love we you really both. appreciate Thanks. it.